Good day. Today we're going to be focusing on centroids. This is kind of a very quick hit kind of video. And it's to show you how you can locate the center of mass or the centroid of an object. And it can be on a single entity, it could be on multiple enti entities like an assembly. But this is known as the point of balance. So wherever that point is, that is the point at which the object balances. And so what's important is, especially if it's an object that you're going to hold or utilize, you want to know where the balance point is so that way you can efficiently utilize that object. If the balance point is in the wrong location, you can add extra weight or material to reposition that point so it's in a more favorable uh, location. For example, when you're swinging a hammer, you don't want the balance point to be at the end of the handle. The mass on the far end, which is driving the nail, has a centroid balance point somewhere along the handle line. But you don't want it at the far end of the handle. You want it somewhere in the middle as the balance point. And the reason being is so that way when you're using it as a fulcrum, you're actually uh, getting a more efficient use of that object. So it's really easy in Fusion to locate the center of mass or centroids. Under the inspection tab where you can actually measure objects and find distances between objects, you'll find one of the options as the center of mass. So when you select it, it will calculate, or it will ask you, what do you want to get the center of mass? And this happens to be one of the projects that we previously worked on in our class. And we select it and we choose OK. And the center of mass is displayed. But the best way to look at the center of mass is the top, front, right side view. So you can see where the center of mass is located in relationship to the object. So you can see that the center of mass is slightly higher than the middle, and it's not 100% in the center between the objects. It is 100% down the right side view in, in that location. So it just makes it really interesting to see where that uh, centroid point is located. You can do the same thing with assemblies. So this happens to be an assembly of little cubes. And let me undo that so it pops it back in the right spot. And we can also calculate the centroid of the, the assembly. So the center of mass, select, and this time I'll window around all three objects. So it uses all the objects to calculate where that centroid happens to be. So you can see that the centroid is located approximately, well it's definitely not in the center because the center of the block is about here. So it's definitely skewed in one direction. So that just makes it interesting to see where that center of mass happens to be. The third object that I have is something that's a usable entity. So this happens to be a, a guitar. Pulled it down off of one of the uh, free design software um, locations. But I wanted to use it just for center of mass assembly. And so we're going to go ahead and choose center of mass. Select both of the objects. And there's actually 51 individual objects in this design. And it may take a minute because it has to calculate all 51 of the object locations in relationship of the center of mass. So it's thinking hard. And once that gets calculated, we'll see that the center of mass is here in the pickup pockets. Well, realistically, the center of mass should be closer to the neck pocket. Why is that? Well, we want the balance point of the guitar to be somewhat in the center of the complete system distance. And this is close, and it's within a couple of inches, 
but realistically we, we would want the center of mass to be uh, a little bit more into the neck itself. So you can see that it's centered on the body which is a good location. Top view, okay. It is somewhat centered left to right which is important. You want it to be along the center line but in design we'd actually like it to be closer into the neck pocket. And so what that tells us is that we need a little bit more material on the neck. Okay, this would actually make the guitar dive, meaning the guitar body is heavier than the neck and taking into that uh, distance of the neck, it still doesn't do enough to uh, lower the mass of the body. So we can remove additional material in the body uh, so that way the mass is lower in the body, hence moving the centroid back. Or we need to add additional mass to the headstock area to again shift that center of mass. And again, looking at the design, the design is phenomenal, but reality shows that we probably need to lower the weight of the guitar body itself. Well, that's all we have for you today. Have a great day.